know if you are clear audient. This is the clear sense of hearing and there's different types. There is hearing with your physical ears outside of you and then there's hearing with your spiritual ears and sometimes that can be a little bit confusing if you're newer to channeling because everything that you're receiving is coming through in your own voice and this is why we're going to talk about this in spirit guys but this is why i recommend asking your higher self or your inner children or teens or your spirit guides or different ascended masters or deities that you want to work with that you ask them to speak to you in a different personality a different tone to use different type of languaging than you would normally use and so that way you can start to pick up on the distinctions between what is self in the present and what is another form of information through you know a different persona a different person <laughs> that is trying to download into your energy fields clear audience is one of my strongest gifts now even though it wasn't in the beginning that is something that i had to spend a lot of time and energy <laughs> on attuning myself to and becoming more proficient and at first everything did sound like it was just coming from me and i was like i don't know if i'm just making this up or <laughs> what's going on <laughs> but when i asked all of my team spirit team and whatever that means for you to speak to me in different types of ways it helped so 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 much <laughs> because i could pick up on this is a lot different than my core personality these are things that i wouldn't typically say you know like positive things but just in a manner that is not coming from this sage right now <laughs> and that is in the same context for working with clients you might hear all of the information coming through in your own voice <laughs> but when you learn how to uh, pick up on these distinct differences between personas so much easier but you have to ask <laughs> you you always have to ask things like this because spirit guides uh, inner children teams um, your higher self, ascended masters, deities, they're not going to do anything to step on your free will. <laughs> okay, because you have autonomy over your body and your inner children and teens are a little bit different because in your higher self, because they are part of you. This is more in the context of uh, beings and deities and ascended masters and things, entities. You, you have to ask uh, what you want of them and give them permission and so that they can come in and speak to you in different ways. You gotta give them directions. <laughs> okay, but that goes the same for your inner children, teens, higher self as well. Like if you tell them, hey, I want to interact with you in this way, they are going to shift their energy and the way that they respond back to you. So how do we tell that we are clear audience? You can hear whispers from the spirit world or the ethers, like conversations or whispers, even when there's nobody around you. <laughs> okay, this is like not you being in public, obviously, but maybe in public as well. You could be around a whole lot of other people and then um, hear things in uh, your physical ears or in your spiritual ears, your internal ears, and nobody is actually talking outside of you. And we can get into some things about telepathy of you being able to read people's minds or hear the things that they're saying within themselves, even if they're consciously aware of it or not. A lot of empaths and light workers are able to pick up on people's thoughts, feelings, and emotions, but also things that are going on in their sub conscious. You can hear the uh, depths within them that they may not even be privy to. Sometimes that's what creates dissonance between us and others because we're on two different planes of existence having a conversation with one another <laughs> because you can hear the things that are not being said and sometimes that person is aware of those things and sometimes not. You might hear your name being called even though nobody's around you. It can be your higher self trying to get your attention or your spirit team. You also receive a lot of guidance through music. You receive wisdom or intuitive insights through the form of words or phrases. You experience a lot of ringing or buzzing in your ears. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. <laughs> it might be tinnitus. That's some imbalances in our physical ears, but this is different. This is your spirit team, your higher self, whomever you work with, trying to get your attention. They're saying be more present or they're trying to say what were you just thinking about maybe we need to adjust our thoughts or adjust our emotions maybe we have some signs and synchronicities that we're trying to send you and we're not paying attention <laughs> so that takes some work on your end of 
paying attention to when the buzzing or the ringing is going on in your ears of, okay, what was I just thinking about? Am I being present? What is happening around me right now? Are they trying to send me a download? <laughs> Maybe I need to take a moment of peace with myself, even if it's five or 10 minutes, and figure out what they're trying to send me. You can hear conversations from different realms and dimensions. This happens a lot when I'm doing multidimensional chakra scans. I'm going in with the intention to connect with my client, but oftentimes that client's, you know, different timeline versions of when I'm meeting them in the ethers, they're in these public places that aren't necessarily on earth or they're having conversations with their families. Uh, in the uh, etheric realms <laughs> and I'm kind of a bystander over here and I can hear uh, the conversations that these other beings are having on these different planes of existence. You hear messages in your dreams. You are more of a listener than you are a talker with other people or in conversations. But on the other end of that, you talk to yourself a lot. <laughs> it can either be out loud or in your mind. I am very much more of a listener than a talker. <laughs> I like to be the observer in situations so I can get the grand scope of what is happening, not only in relation to me, but in the context of people or groups around me as well, because I'm able to glean a lot more insight about said persons or situations by listening <laughs> and sitting back and taking on that observer role and hearing the things that are not being said vocally. You might be really sensitive to loud noises or busy environments. You can hear plants, animals, and trees talking to you. You tend to use the words I hear in conversations, such as what I'm hearing you say is, you're more of an auditory learner. So an example of this would be you listening to an audiobook instead of reading. And with the different clear abilities, you do not have to have all of these to be indicative if you have specific clear abilities. These are just some signs. <laughs> there are so many and everybody's gifts and abilities are going to look very different from, from one another, but these are a great jumping point to help you become more aware if you have these gifts innately, or maybe they are like, oh, I really wanna have these. These sound super fun. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not as proficient in some of them, but I could be if I put in a lot of time and practice. A great way to develop clear audience is to listen to music that has a lot of different instruments or components to it. So we can put headphones in and do this while we're doing a still meditation or an active meditation like we talked about, something where you're very calm and relaxed and you have the time and space to really tap in. And what we're gonna do is listen to all the different layers of the sounds and try and pick out specific instruments or components of that music and dial, hone in on that very specifically and try and make it the loudest thing that you can hear. You can also do this out in nature because there's always you know, tons of sounds, frogs, birds, the wind rustling, and people crunching leaves as they're walking by, uh, but trying to identify very specifically each sound and that's gonna help you attune your physical ears and also your spiritual ears. And also ask your higher self or your guides, your spirit team to send you insights or downloads while you're listening to music or watching TV shows or uh, cartoons or movies while you're listening to sound baths or guided meditations.